Hello everyone, uh, today I am going to talk about the existed function block in the FlexSoft software uh, located in the right side. These are all the function blocks uh, which are already existed in this software. And in the future video, I may talk about how to create our own function blocks. Uh, first, let's start from the timers. If you click on the plus sign, uh, you will see different timers inside. On timer, uh, off timer, off timer with reset, and so on. If you double click on each of these timer, uh, you will see all the details related to that blocks and here for the on timer uh, you can see the condition um, action operands uh, timer diagram and the expression let's take a quick look at the timer diagram how it works like remember that it is on delay timer uh, turns the output on after a delay this is the input output uh, preset time and elapsed time or et as soon as the input turns on the elapsed time counts the time till it reaches to the pt or the preset time which is a delay for the timer that means that after this delay time the output will turns on as soon as the input becomes deactivated the output will also become deactivated and the elapsed time will be reset to zero and note that if the elapsed time doesn't reach to the preset time before the input becomes deactivated the output never turns on because as soon as the input becomes deactivated the elapsed time collapses to zero now let's create a simple simulation program to understand better give it a name uh, as you can see the TON function block has two input pins and two output pins uh, input has a boolean data type uh, I am going to put a simple contact uh, PT or preset time has a time data type uh, it is the time that timer taken how long after the output should turn on uh, let's put our delay time 10 seconds the output queue has also a boolean data type uh, I am putting a simple coil here and the last remain pin is ET or elapsed time uh, it just calculating the delay time uh, we just put a time variable here and is a time data type if we simulate it uh, you see that the input is false output is also false pt is 10 scan and et is 0 as soon as we turn on the input the elapsed time counts the time and when it reaches to the preset time the output turns on as soon as you deactivate it the output will also be deactivated and the elapsed time immediately becomes zero and the output will not be turned on if the elapsed time doesn't reach to the preset time Next, let's see the off delay timer or TOF. This is the details about TOF timer. The reason that why it is called as off delay timer is that the output turns off after a delay. Uh, to illustrate a little further, let's look at the function diagram. As you can see, as soon as the input is turned on, the output turns on as well and the ellipse time start counting when the input turns off and output is still on 
And so when the ellipse time reaches the preset time, which is our delay, then the output will turn off. And this is the reason why it's called off delay timer. And note that if the preset time doesn't reach the PT or preset time uh, before the input turns on, the output will not change because as soon as the input turns on, the ellipse time resets zero. So now let's create another logic for off timer similar to on timer. Name it as off timer. Uh, let's put the same contact as we did for the on timer. Give 10 seconds for preset time. Name the output. And the data type is boolean. And create name for the ellipse time. Data type is time. Uh, let's simulate it. As you see, input is false and output is also false. As soon as we make input true, the output will be also true. If we turn off the input, the output will stay true until the ellipse time reaches the preset time. Remember that the output will not be false if we turn on the input before the ellipse time reaches the preset time. The next timer is off timer with reset. This timer is similar to off timer. The only difference is the reset button. If you press on the reset, uh, the ellipse time immediately becomes zero and the output turns a false. Next we have TP uh, or pulse timer. The pulse timer generates pulse of a specific length of time. And the function block looks like this. You will see that it has four pins, one input uh, which takes the boolean data type, one output uh, which is also take uh, boolean data type, uh, a preset time uh, which takes a time data type, and ellipse time uh, which takes also a time data type. Pulse timer is used for generating pulse of a specific length. So here the PT or the preset time is the length of our pulse. The ellipse time is uh, how long the pulse has been activated. As soon as you turn on the input, the output will also turn on. And the ellipse time also starts counting and when the ellipse time reaches the preset time uh, which is the length of our pulse the output turns off uh, and the ellipse time stays on the pulse time when we turn off the input uh, the ellipse time reset to zero uh, let us do once again if we turn on the input the output turns on immediately and the ellipse time is start counting. Even if we turn off the input, the ellipse time will still counting because this is used for the generating pulse of a specific length. No matter how many times you turn on uh, and turn off the input, uh, no change will happen to the output before the ellipse time reaches to the preset time. Next we have pulse time with reset. Uh, this is the same as pulse timer, just has an extra reset button. Uh, I will stop here and in the next video I will continue with the rest. Thanks for watching.